Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I wanna to talk to you about tightening up your cable for your cable rail system. There's many different types on the market. This is just one style that we use, so, uh, but they're pretty universal. So hopefully you get some ideas of how to do that after this video. If you like what you see, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you wanna be notified when we're putting out new content, which is five days a week. All right, so what I've done here is I have a run of cable that was determined from the manufacturer that, okay, this is the distance that you're gonna do. There's 190 in it. Um, everything's buttoned up, but it's all loose. You can see this, this would not pass inspection because you can get four inches through here, right? So what we gotta do is tighten this up. So when you're tightening up cable, you wanna always start from the middle of your post and then alternate high and low for each section that you do. Uh, the reason you do that is so that you load the center of the post first, which has more flex than the top or the bottom. The bottom's anchored with bolts. The top is anchored with a top cap. So it's not gonna flex a whole lot. So you're not gonna have to tighten the tops and the bottoms as much as you're gonna have to tighten the centers. We're gonna start by cinching up the centers, work our way up and down, and then we're gonna to have to come back and tighten the middle again. Uh, usually it will relax a little bit in between. So for this particular run, we have a unique fitting that accepts a 10 millimeter wrench, which makes it really easy to run a hex head. I have a, I have a hex bit on a socket, okay? That fits right into here, like so. And then my 10 millimeter wrench will fit right on the end of the fitting like that. So it's gonna make quick work of tightening these up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on number six. One, two, three, four, five. okay, I'll start on number five, okay? And then what I'm gonna do, I'll go five, six, four, seven, three, eight, two, nine, one, ten. That's the sequence that I'll use to tighten this up. And we'll see how we do after that. Just remember, I can basically squeeze these and touch them together before ten tensioning. So here we go. I'm gonna start with my first one. Sometimes you can't even get the ratchet. And there are tensioning tools on the market that tell you how tight you're getting or how much tension you have, so many pounds per square inch or square foot. I don't have one of those. I'm gonna just go by feel. I've done this so many times, I kinda know uh, what I'm looking for. That's not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit more because I know that this, since this is the first cable that I'm tensioning, it's gonna be the weakest one by the time I'm finished. So that was number five. So now I'm gonna go down one to number six to tighten up number six. And I can just start by just tensioning. Now what the good thing about this set of cable, I have, I have tension from two sides. I have tensioning here on this post and I also have tensioning all the way down at the bottom of my staircase if I really need to throw some, some serious strength into this cable. I don't think it's necessary because it's not a super long run. It's probably only 25 feet. That's pretty good. Remember when I said I can touch these? I cannot, ugh, I cannot do that now. So five and six are done. Now I'm gonna go to number four. Now you could probably say, hey doctor, why aren't you using a drill for this activity? Don't use a drill to cinch up stainless steel. I put anti-seize on each thread as I was assembling this. But if you start going hot and heavy with this stuff, you could gall out your fitting. If you gall out your fitting, that means it's, it's welded together. You're not gonna get it to come apart. Then you have to cut that cable and start all over again and have a new one made and it's just kind of a pain in the butt. So I don't suggest doing that. I always just use a ratchet. That's a lot faster than trying to use a standard Allen wrench or something like that, which you can do. You could use an Allen wrench. I just like to use a socket and a ratchet because it's, for me, it's a little bit quicker. So you can tell, like this one's tight. And this one, whoa, that's just sloppy. I can just push on these and actually get more tension out of them now that we started to tension up our post. All right, so we continue on. 
And if I look down this post, I can see it bowing a little bit, but it's not too bad. And you can see I got another set of tensioners over here for our next set of railing, which is going a different direction. Okay, so now I've got my initial tension set for the cable. And you'll notice the tops are really tight. That's really good. But my, and my bottoms are good, but my middle is a little weak. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cinch up the center of this a little bit, and then I'm gonna go to the other side of the staircase and do my final tensioning from there, because I'm gonna check the staircase cable tension as well, because it's on the other side of the run. So I'm just gonna give these a couple turns now is all I gotta do. All right, let's go down to the other side, check it out. All right, so I haven't even checked the tension of these cables yet. I just wanna see how they're doing. And they're actually not bad. That middle, I can touch, so this will definitely pass code. I'm going to give them a little bit more love, though, just to give it that little extra cinch. Over here, I don't have the piece to lock my 10 millimeter wrench into, so I'm going to have to go grab my vice grips to tension this side up. So uh, let me go grab those really quick. I'll be right back. All right, so I have a set of duckbill vice grips, and that's what I like to cinch on my cable. I don't like to use a small vice grip because it could mar or damage the cable a little bit. So I'm gonna go down to three, four, I'm gonna go down to number five. Sometimes you can, you can hear it. It sounds kind of like a bass. So you can hear the difference in the tone that you're getting out of the cable. So sometimes I use that as an indicator. Okay, I, know, I just know this piece is loose. So I'm gonna cinch down like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this side. Whoops, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up. And the cable will start to let me know, like it's gonna, you hear that? It's about to, it's about to let go of the vice grip. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay, that's pretty good. So do number six. I'm pushing with all my might and I am able to get these tight. I don't think an infant would be able to do that. I'm gonna give them a little bit more. All right, guys, that's all there is to it. This cable's nice and tight, uh, looks great, and uh, it's ready for inspection. So if you learned a little something today, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon if you wanna be notified when we're putting out fresh content. Thanks for watching, have a great day.